This is part two of the video, what does human trafficking look like? Uh, part one, if you want to watch that, just click the link in the notes below this YouTube video. And we'll continue listening to Chung tell her story and ask the question, is anything the immigration officials asking her uh, potentially to spot human trafficking? So the immigration official took a tip. Yeah. I was panning and I just don't want to miss my flight and so I just want to go through. I just pay. I don't think. Okay, see. so now you're on the plane. No, I'm not yet. Oh, now what happened? I take my ECC. I'm waiting for my queue. There's a Chinese guy in front of me. And then the officer asked him, How, uh, do you work here? I think because you stay here quite long in Philippines. Ask asked you this or the Chinese the girl? The Chinese girl. Do you work here? Yes. And then he, he asked about that. I want to see your Instagram. I mean, oh, the, the social media. They want to check your social media. So the Philippine immigration checked the person in front of you's yes. immigrate uh, Instagram to see if they work in the Philippines. Yes. Okay. I was panning again. Because <laughs> you have Instagram. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then like, uh, like, oh my god, please leave, let me leave the country. And then, I think God hear me, <laughs> that another officer, she is open the counter for me to check out. Oh, no questions, out. Oh. oh, so you went to another counter? Yeah. And didn't have to show your Instagram? No, no. Okay, now you're on the plane? Yeah. So you're able to board? Oh, actually, it's, when I go to check in in Manila, Airport that time. Wait, you're already in Manila Airport. You no. gone, you're in immigration in, in Manila <laughs> Airport, right? Yeah, the, the thing I forget to say is I vouch to a group of the Chinese to go back home. They have a whole suitcase. You, you vouched? I mean, I, there's also a group, it's the same group that also uh, sharing the plane to go from Manila to the Tokyo. To Tokyo. Yes. So they have all the full suits on, PPE, glass, mask, yeah. you know, growth and everything. Yeah. And because I have the same, so the Manila ground staff moved me to the Chinese group. On the same plane? Yes. Okay. I said, why I have to go there? Because I'm from Philippines. You're from Malaysia? I'm here because I'm not the transfer group from the Chinese people. Okay. Then he is apologizing. <laughs> And then sent me back to the Philippine group. I will show you the video. Okay. It's so funny, man. It's so, so funny. With all these things. So now you're on the plane? I'm on the plane. Okay. You flew to Tokyo. I flew to Tokyo. What happened in Tokyo? Uh, there's nothing happened in Tokyo. Just, Just boring. Uh, I was shopping in Tokyo. You went shopping? <laughs> I buy the vitamin C. Some, because Tokyo. I mean, German have good uh, medical, you know, vitamin product. Yeah. So I bought it over there. And so, uh, and so when you pass the uh, immigration uh, uh, security checkpoint in uh, Japan, you need to take out your full suit. Take with off your full suit. PPE suit. Take it off. Yes. The whole suit. The whole suit. Yeah. Everyone do it the same. Whoever have a PPE suit. They wanted to see what you're wearing underneath. I think so. Uh, so you had a white uniform you're wearing over the top of all your other clothes and they made you take that off? Yeah, everyone. Chinese group also. You know, they have another chance to go to China. Okay, so that was in order to leave Tokyo? Yeah. So what What else? Uh, so far it's nothing, uh, nothing much. So you flew to Mexico City? Yeah, and then from, the, uh, from Tokyo, the plane is not full, so I have by myself in one row, okay. in front, back, and both sides. Oh, nobody around you? Nobody around okay. me. So and the Steven is taught I'm Japanese also. When did you, <laughs> use, didn't you also have a certificate you had to fill out to enter Mexico? That is uh, in Manila. Oh, that happened? No, uh, there was a, a web page you had to log on yes, to? Manila. Oh, that was back in Manila. That's back in Manila. In order to enter Mexico? Yes. Okay. And then so, so you land in Mexico, what else? I land in Mexico. Oh, very tired. 
Mexico. So what happened in Mexico? Did you get on a plane? Did you spend the night? Yeah, I have, after that uh, from Tokyo to Mexico is about 13 hour flight. You know? Yeah. And then is, uh, when I land in Mexico City, I also is the last one in the immigration. And I was so, so tired, so, so exhausted. You know? So what did they ask for to enter? So the first thing they asked is, uh, Onward flight? No, she asked that where you want to go in Mexico. I said Puerto Escondido. Yeah. You couldn't hear my voice and you have face shell, you know. So she asked him to two times and she asked me to remove the mask. Yeah. Totally removed. But in the immigration in uh, Japan or so in uh, uh, Manila, Philippines, you just need to show your face and you put back your mask. But she insists me to take off the mask. And right. I see other people, they didn't take off the mask. I'm like, man, did I in the trouble? She probably yeah. couldn't hear you. Yeah, she quite, might. Talking quiet. Yeah, she might be cannot hear me. And then she sounds like uh, no patience. Yeah. And she sounds rude to me right now. I think that because I couldn't speak, I, I couldn't speak that loud. You can ask Dan. He also cannot hear me. Hello. Yeah. And uh, she asked me for my own flight. Do I have friends and family in Mexico? So a flight leaving Mexico. Yes. All you you needed that in Manila and you also needed it in Mexico City. Yeah, I think that they just want to see because I'm the, you know, an Asian girl who travel. Right. By myself alone. Yeah. What I want to do in Mexico City. Right. So uh, they asked me for my own flight, my uh, hotel booking. So they wanted to see what hotel you were staying at. Yeah, and then uh, I have write everything on the, the white card, you know. And they ask, uh, do you have friends? Say yes. And then she, who is your friend? Where he from? You know. Yeah. And how you know him? I like, man, am I entering to US or am I entering to Mexico? <laughs> this is Dan of Vagabond Awake. Please like this video, comment, or subscribe. Any of that would help our business. We'd sure appreciate it. Thanks so much. <laughs> and then, so, by the way, I give him, I give her two passports, which is my new passport and my old passport. Because my new passport is only have one stamp in that's Philippines. Yeah. So I, I hand her the two passports. So I think that she will see all my stamping over there. And then so you handed her the old passport that showed you'd already been to Mexico twice before. I think she she see. I'm so tired. I, oh. I didn't know that what to do. And then some. And then she, I think she blew. And then she have a questions about me. And then she asked, "How much money you bring to visit my country?" I was shocked by that money. I like. It. I will not tell you how much money I have. You didn't say that to her, did you? No. Okay. I didn't say, I say it to myself because okay. I see about a lot of corruptions, you know? Corruption, yeah. Yeah. So said, what did you actually say to her? Tell me what you would say, or your girlfriends, ask them that what they would say. Tell speak, me speak louder, we can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say that I have cash, I was loud that time. I have cash and credit card, that's all. Yeah. And then she just uh, take my passport and then say, ask me to wait. And she go to the room. And like, fuck, don't ask me to go to the room. But she just going, I think she just asked her. You talk to her boss uh, or yeah, something? Yeah, she her boss or something. And then uh, she came up. There's no question. Stampy, 180 days. 180 days. And say, welcome to Mexico. No visa, 180 days. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? She said, welcome to Mexico. I'm like, okay, now you know. I think you didn't check my old passport. I said, whatever. I didn't say anything. Bad thing. I just say thank you and I leave. So she, did she ask for your onward flight? Yes, I Did she ask for your the hotel you're staying yes. at? And you knew the name of it? But, oh, yes. But not the address or... I have... But, oh, you didn't have a reservation? I don't have reservations. Because I, I was only, already there. Yes. Yeah. I only have the address in a Google map. Okay, but she let you in anyway. Yeah, actually it's not that difficult. No, it's not. Going to Mexico is, for a white man, 
is eventless. They ask you nothing practically. Plus, I'm sure Asians. You're Asian, yeah. But Malaysian, they must think Malaysians are the same as every other country because other countries need visa, they need all these, but Malaysians, yeah. Malaysians don't need any of that. No need. But they were treating you like you were from Thailand Actually, or, or no. Philippines or. No, I don't say. They see my passport, but they just make no, me No, but they're making you answer all these questions. They, yeah. they wouldn't have made me answer. They didn't make me answer. They didn't ask me where I'm staying. They asked me how long I was staying, and I said, I'm not sure. I'm going to travel around the south of Mexico, and then I might go to Guatemala. And that's the only thing they asked me. Then they stamped me with Actually, 180 that, days. Actually, uh, Asia have quite some problems with traveling in South America. If you still remember when we go to Colombia, when we arrived in Colombia at that time, they also like stop me and ask me some questions and ask me, and I know you, to travel. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's, you have this thing. So yeah. I already prepared myself when I want to come to Mexico. Even I know that it's, I don't need to have any visa or anything, you know. Yeah. But I prepare everything by myself. Well, that's going to be it for today, folks, because we're probably at 40 minutes here or something. Uh, and then you have a great cool video. Okay. And then we will see and uh, go to... Oh, and then after that, the flight is all okay. I have to stay one night in Mexico City, good hotel, and the uh, transportation. And then the next day, afternoon, I'm traveling to Porto Escanido. And here you are, a week later. A week later. And uh, we will see. Is it then it's worth for me to travel so far? <laughs> <laughs> we will see. <laughs> Crazy. Right. It's your third time in Mexico, dear. <laughs> my coronavirus made me panicky, you know, when I hear my friend cross the coronavirus and all these things that's like hanging by myself and stress myself. Wait, your friend caught coronavirus in Indonesia? Yeah, Indonesia. Oh, okay. But Mexico has way more cases than, than Indonesia. I don't, actually don't know how many cases Indonesia has, but Mexico is one of the worst countries. It's like in the top 10. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Yeah. All right, people. That's your story. I'm not, I don't know how much of this will end up in the video when I edit, but thanks for watching. Chung Hoi is in Mexico. I'm in Mexico. I was... Uh, Tired for resting this few weeks. Yeah. I will back to my video soon. All right. Talk to you guys later. Please click the link in the notes below this YouTube video to get a copy of this content. So this is my one night in Mexico City. Across the street is a mega. More, a lot of more here. Wow. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, could you please like it, subscribe, or comment? Any of those would increase our rankings in the search engines, which would help our business greatly. Thanks so much in advance.